여러분은 과일 하면 어떤 이미지가 떠오르시나요? 많은 사람들이 과일을 자연 그대로의 천연식품 그리고 비타민과 식이섬유가 풍부한 건강식품으로 인식하고 있습니다. 물론 이것이 틀린 말은 아닙니다. 하지만 그 달콤한 맛의 정체는 과연 무엇일까요? 과일의 단맛을 내는 물질은 아이스크림이나 음료수에 들어있는 설탕과 어떤 차이가 있을까요? 캔베리 박사는 과일에 대한 사람들의 잘못된 믿음에 대해 다음과 같이 설명합니다. Now the first myth is that fruits contain only fructose. They don't contain sucrose or glucose. Uh, many dietitians and nutritionists and many uh, nutrition gurus on the World Wide Web seem to believe this and they talk about this on a daily basis when in fact nothing could be further from the truth. Virtually every fruit on the planet contains a combination of not only fructose but also sucrose, that's table sugar, and also glucose. Uh, known in some countries as dextrose. There's almost no fruit that is just purely fructose as its only sugar. And I want to go through five very common fruits with you quickly and show you this. Now, I, I pull this uh, information from the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Food Data Central database. Uh, they have a listing of virtually every food you could dream of eating, how much protein, how much fat, how many carbohydrates, uh, what kind of sugars, vitamins, minerals, And I'm going to put a link to this database in the show notes so that if you have a food and you're wondering, hey, I wonder how much sugar is in that, you can look it up. And now these numbers are, they vary from fruit to fruit. So if you have a really big orange and a really small orange, obviously the big orange is going to have more sugar. It's going to have more carbohydrates. The smaller orange will have less. This goes for all fruits. Uh, the size matters. How ripe they are when they're picked matters. How ripe they are when you eat them matters. All these things matter. But so these are, consider these numbers rough averages or guidelines as we go through these five very common fruits and just what kind of sugar they have in them. So fruit number one we're going to start with is the time-honored banana. So here's the banana and here's just the relevant carbohydrate portion from the Food Central, Food Data Central database from the USDA website. So I underlined the three different types of sugar contained in a banana. And so a lot of people will tell people, even they'll tell diabetics, oh, bananas only have fructose. They won't raise your blood sugar. And nothing could be farther from the truth. As you can see, and now for all five fruits, I've just picked a 100 gram serving, which is about 3.3 ounces. Okay, and I picked that on all five so we could have, I want you to have an idea of the ratios of sugars and the relative amount of sugar in each fruit. So obviously if you eat more or less, there's gonna be more or less sugar. But in a 100 gram serving of a banana, there are 4.2 grams of sucrose. That's just pure table sugar. Granulated sugar, like your grandmother had the little bowl on the dinner table with the little spoon in it. Uh, that's 100%. So, so sucrose is made up of a combination of glucose and fructose. And so this sucrose is absolutely going to raise your blood sugar. And it contains five and a half grams of glucose, which is 100% going to raise your blood glucose level. And it has six grams of fructose, which uh, even though it won't raise your blood sugar, it will contribute to fatty liver and other metabolic problems. 여러분은 마라톤이나 테니스 시합 도중에 선수들이 바나나를 먹는 모습을 본 적이 있을 것입니다. 바나나는 앞에서 알아본 것처럼 세 가지 종류의 당 함량이 모두 높고 몸속에서 에너지로 전환되는 속도가 빠르기 때문입니다. 이것은 빠른 에너지 공급이 필요한 운동 선수에게 장점으로 작용하지만 혈당을 관리하고 체중을 조절해야 하는 분들에게는 치명적일 수 있습니다. 무려 각설탕 다섯 개 분의 당이 들어 있는 셈이니까요. The next fruit we're going to talk about is green seedless grapes. Every parent thinks this is a very healthy snack to give their young children. Let's look at the sugar content. Now, this is a 100 gram serving of seedless green grape, grapes. Some people call them white grapes. It has virtually no sucrose in it, but it has seven and a half grams of glucose, which is absolutely going to spike your blood sugar and therefore spike your insulin. And it also contains over eight and a half grams of fructose, which is going to contribute to fatty liver and other metabolic abnormalities. Next is the venerable apple. You know, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Uh, so an apple, 100 gram serving, contains two 
0.06 grams of table sugar, sucrose. It contains two grams of glucose. Both of those are gonna raise your blood sugar, no doubt about that. And it contains over seven and a half grams of fructose back to the fatty liver and other metabolic issues. And now the fruit that put Florida on the map, the navel orange. A 100 gram serving of a navel orange contains over four grams of just table sugar. In addition to the table sugar, it contains a little over two grams of just glucose. And it also contains two and a third grams of fructose. Now the orange is an excellent example of citrus fruit. Many people think that since citrus fruit tastes sour or bitter, that there's probably not a, sh a lot of sugar in there, but you can see from the orange, uh, there's quite a bit of sugar in there, uh, not only fructose, but also sucrose and glucose, uh, it, but also very sour citrus fruit like lemons and limes and grapefruits are also full of sugar. 같은 데이터베이스에서 우리가 많이 먹는 과일을 몇 가지 더 살펴봅시다. 먼저 귤은 총 당합량이 10.6g, 그 중에서 자당은 약 6g, 포도당 2.1g, 과당 2.4g입니다. 그 다음은 딸기인데요. 총 당합량 4.9g, 그중 자당은 0.5g, 포도당 2g, 과당 2.4g입니다. 마지막으로 수박은 총 당합량 6.2g 중 자당은 1.2g, 포도당 1.6g, 과당 3.3g입니다. 특히나 최근 우리가 먹는 과일은 샤인머스켓, 스테비아 토마토, 천혜향처럼 과거에 비해 더욱 달콤하게 개량되어 가고 있음을 알수 있습니다. 이런 과일들을 먹어보면 마치 사탕을 먹는 것처럼 달콤한 맛에 눈이 번쩍 뜨입니다. 한 방송에서는 한국을 방문한 외국인들이 우리나라 딸기를 먹어보고 자신이 늘 먹어왔던 딸기와는 차원이 다르다며 극찬하는 모습을 볼수 있습니다. <웃음> 더 달콤하고 부드럽다는 건당 함량이 높고 식이섬유는 적다는 걸 의미합니다. 따라서 실제로 우리가 먹는 과일에는 미국의 데이터보다 훨씬 더 높은 수치의 당이 들어 있을 것입니다. And then finally we're going to get a little on the exotic side with a delicious mango. A mango has almost 7 grams of table sugar in it. In addition to that it has 2 grams of glucose. In addition to that it has over 5 4.5 grams of fructose. Now I picked these five fruits not because they're super high in sugar, they're not the highest sugar containing fruits, but just they, they are representative of the most commonly eaten fruits around the world. And many people think that fruits are very healthy and that brings us to myth number two, that the fructose and the sugar in fruits is somehow magical and somehow different than the fructose that is contained in say a Pepsi Cola or a Coca-Cola or a Dr. Pepper, or a Mountain Dew. And I'm gonna put up the molecules here for you to compare. On my left is the uh, sucrose, glucose, and fructose molecules that occur in fruit. And on the right is the sucrose, glucose, and fructose molecules that occur in a uh, 20 ounce Coca-Cola. Now I want you to look very carefully and see if you can notice any difference in the molecular structure of these molecules. Now, of course, that's a trick question because they're exactly the same. There's no difference. There's nothing magical about fruit sugar. And that brings us to the third myth about fruits and the sugars they contain is that somehow, even though fruits contain all the sugar, they, they also have fiber and they have uh, vitamins and minerals and they have phytonutrients in them. So somehow the goodness of those things outweighs the badness of the sugar. And so my answer to that myth would be, what if I took a 20 ounce Coca-Cola and I put some vitamin C and some polyphenols in there and I put some fiber in there, then would that Coca-Cola, would that be a healthy thing to give to your young child? No, it's still sugar coma, even though you put those good things in there. 정말 찰진 비유 아닌가요? 과일 속에 아무리 많은 영양소가 있다고 해도 그 안에 설탕이 사라지는 것은 아닙니다. 저는 늘 건강에 관심이 많아서 설탕은 최대한 멀리 했었는데요. 
과일 앞에서는 늘 무장해제가 되었었습니다. 과일은 건강에 좋아서 얼마든지 먹어도 된다고 생각했습니다. 특히 여름철에 수박은 환장하고 먹었었는데요. 지금 저에게 과일은 아이스크림이나 디저트처럼 아주 가끔 먹는 존재가 되었습니다. 이 영상을 보는 여러분들 중에서도 과거의 저처럼 식단에 각별히 신경 쓰면서도 과일만큼은 괜찮다고 생각하는 분들이 적지 않을 것입니다. 특히 여러분이 당뇨 전 단계이거나 체중 감량이 필요한 상황이라면 과일을 정말 조심해야 합니다. And so my I don't hate fruit. I love fruit. I love mangoes. That's my favorite fruit. I could eat a pound right now. But if I did that, I would develop some degree of fatty liver and my blood sugar would shoot sky high. So in, in, in deference to my health, I choose not to eat fruit very often at all because it's too high in sugar. I fatten easily and I, I develop hyperinsulinemia very easily. I become pre-diabetic very easily. And so I eat a diet that keeps my blood sugar and my insulin levels very low and keeps my liver free of fat. I think that the health that that brings more than outweighs the flavor that I'm missing from not eating fruit. So I hope this short video clears up some of the myths out there. And if you know someone, a very prominent doctor, dietitian, uh, internet guru, who are saying things that obviously are not true, you might consider sharing this video with them. And you're also welcome to share it on your favorite social media. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time. 이상한 다이어트였습니다.